All right, so today I'm going to talk about uh, equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. In order to do that, first thing I need to do is talk about what parallel and perpendicular lines are. If I have lines that are never going to cross, I'm essentially looking at parallel lines. The idea behind them, mathematically, is that their slope is the same. Because if you have lines that start in different places and increase or decrease at the same rate, they'll never intersect at all. So that means that they have a slope that's the same. Uh, conversely, if they have the same slope and the same y-intercept, it's one line and not two lines. So you wouldn't be drawing two. On the other side of it, a really badly drawn perpendicular line over here. A perpendicular line not only intersects, it intersects at a 90 degree angle. So the M is as messed up as you could possibly be. So from your original, your perpendicular slope is what's called a negative reciprocal. So if I have a uh, slope of my first one, so we'll call it M1, uh, of 4 fifths, my slope of the perpendicular line to it would be flipped over. Basically, you mess up this as much as you can. You flip it over, and you change the sign to negative. And by the way, just as an incident, if you have 2, uh, 2 as a fraction is 2 over 1, so you'd flip it and make it negative 1 half. But that's just to say. Whereas over here, the slope would go from, say it was 4, well, the other slope would have to be 4 as well. Now. You probably knew that anyway, but I just wanted to cover it just in case you didn't. Uh, going on to the types of questions that you'll likely deal with. That's the important part here. So they'll want to know, I want a line that goes through 1, negative 1, and is parallel to y equals negative 4x plus 2. If this is going to be in um, slope intercept form, which it already is in, my slope is going to be negative 4. Since it's parallel, it matches that slope. So now I need to take that information and plug it back into the generic form of the equation to find the b value that I'm looking for. My slope is just negative 4. My x value is 1. My y value is negative 1. And I'm going to solve for b. I did negative 4 here. I need to remove negative 4, so I need to add 4 to both sides. My b value is a positive. So my final answer is a line that goes through 1, negative 1, and is parallel to negative 4x plus 2 is y equals negative 4x plus 3. So just a little bit above the original line is where my second line is going to end up falling. From here, I thought I would cover one that looks a little weird uh, because the parallel ones are so easy through 5, 4, and parallel to y equals 2. Now, in order to see this, you might have to just take a quick sketch of what y equals 2 looks like. y equals 2 would be right here. It doesn't have a slope at all. So in order to find a uh, line that's parallel to it, I'm looking just basically on the y-axis. It makes it really easy here. I mean, you could solve it the same way if you wanted to. You just put 0 in for m. Or you could think, well, what y-value is it crossing through? It's crossing through 4. So if I just go up a couple more on my axis, the graph is actually going to be right here. So essentially, for your answer, as long as it has a zero slope scenario, all you need to do is write that the line that's parallel to it and through 5, 4 is y is equal to 4. So sometimes just thinking about what it looks like visually makes the answer much easier to come across. But of course, you could use 0 uh, for m here and get the same answer. Uh, the next one I want to do is the two, I want to do a couple perpendiculars just because they're a little bit more complicated, not really that much more complicated. The key here, if I'm looking for perpendicular, is I need to find my original slope. So my original slope would be negative 1 over 8x. Now I need to, negative 1 over 8, I'm sorry. I need to mess it up as much as possible. So my new slope is going to be flipped over. So 8 over 1, or just 8, and then I'm changing it to positive, so my new slope is positive 8. Plug it in to the generic slope-intercept form. My m value is 8, my x value is 1, which comes from right here. My y value is 5, which also comes from my coordinate. 
subtract 8 on both sides, b is equal to negative 3, so my final answer is y is equal to 8x minus 3. That's a line that's perpendicular to it and goes through uh, 1, 5. For the other one, one line that goes through 4, negative 2, and is perpendicular to 2. X, y equals 2x plus 2. So my first slope, my original slope is 2, so I need to remember that means 2 over 1, so in order to get an answer I need to flip it to 1 half, change it to negative. So I'm going to go into my equation for slope intercept, plug in my x value, plug in my y, plug in my new x value that I just invented, and I'm looking for b. Uh, negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2. Add 2 to both sides. And don't freak out, these don't cancel, it just goes to 0. So my final answer is y is equal to, remember to put your new slope there, and you could put plus 0 if you want to, or you could just leave it as y equals negative 1 half x. That's totally um, appropriate to deal with as well. So there's your answer. It gives you a line that you're looking for. It covers all the types and I hope that uh, this answers your question. What happens if you need to put it in standard form? You're going to need to move the x term over with the y. So in the one I have on top I would do minus 8x for both and uh, I'd end up dividing, multiplying everything by negative 1 because you don't want to have that x term negative and then end up with uh, 8x minus y is equal to 3. But that's only if you need in standard form. This is generally how it looks. So if you need more help on that, there's other stuff available.